morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as you guys all know, I'm Marlon, this is Jordan, and today we're going to be talking about Peterbilt versus Kenwood. Right there in the face. So. <laughs> this year's uh, the table of contents, we're going to be working with the history, models, and specs of both of our favorite trucks, um, personal, our personal thoughts, bibliography, and then closing at the end with time for questioning. So please don't ask questions in the middle of our presentation, we appreciate that. Alright, so a little bit of um, Kenworth history. <laughs> Basically how it went from that old log truck to the truck you see today, which is the T680. So basically Kenworth's company started out in 1912 in Portland, Oregon, and it was formed by two brothers, and it was called the Berlinger Motor Company, and they sold cars and trucks. And um, 1914 is when they first came out with the first truck, which is this log one right here. It was made for the rugged Northwest because they were using it to transport these huge logs for lumber and everything. And then through multiple like ownership changes, it ended up becoming um, a collaboration with two guys. And when they formed their names together, their last names ended up being Kenworth. And so they came out with a truck that's now mainstream and popular on the streets today. So good. And this here is my log truck. Um, it was made in 1913, a little bit newer than his. Looks a lot nicer. It's a Peterbilt. Um, its main usage was for hauling lumber out of the bush. Um, both companies were purchased by a company called Packard, and it's like a mother company basically. So you have Peter Peterbilt and Kenworth, and they're like fighting together in, in an organization kind of like GMC and Chevy. They're basically the same kind of thing. Their parts are intertwining, and they're just needing competitors in the industry. Um, the merger with my company and Packard occurred in 1958, and the company is currently based in Denton, Texas. Can you remember this guy for some stats on his, his truck? So some of the features in the 2012 Kenworth T680 is that there's an 83 inch cab space, which is about six and a quarter feet. So you have enough room to get up and move around. You have about 23 inches in between the actual sleeper and the seat. So you actually have mobility space and everything, as you can see in the inside, you have your TV set up and everything. So the way they made it now is it's more driver friendly, they're more comfortable in their environment, more relaxed. There's also the visibility features and the aerodynamics on the picture above. They made the wide shield wider and the side mirrors extended so that the driver can see more of their blind spots and end up being a safe, like more safe driver. And um, they made the body on the side a bit wider too, so there's more stability on the road, so drivers won't shift and cause big collisions and everything. So on to some stats about the actual engine. So they're using a Packer MX-13 engine. It's a 10 to 13 speed transmission. On the front axle, it holds about 13,1200 pounds, and on the rear axle, it's 40,000 pounds, so you can carry a heavy payload with it. Uh, runs on about 10 and a half gallons of oil, which is kind of a lot, but it's still good depending on the miles per gallon. It pushes about 6.5 with about a 40,000 pound load. So it really depends on how well you drive it and take care of it. And it's got a 236 inch wheelbase, also helps with the stability on the truck. And uh, for price range, you're looking at around 140,000 to 150,000 because it's still a 2012 truck, it's new. And even use it'll be around the same price because it's still technically new. <laughs> this here is uh, my 2007 Peterbilt 379. Um, they don't make these trucks anymore, uh, but I like this truck because this is probably one of the trucks that we'll be seeing in the field the most often. Um, because it is a 2007, the, the mileage will be high, and you'll probably be fixing these a lot more than you'll be fixing his truck, which is a 2012. My truck was used for transformer. Um, Optimus Prime is the truck that they use because it has a nasty grill in front, it's huge and you can see the nice big smoke stacks. It's just an all around big beast of a truck. This here is the interior, you can see it's an extended front end which means it has more space from the dash to the back, but it's like a tunnel so you only have five and a quarter feet stand up space which means if I go in there I'll be ducking around like this, whereas in the T80 that you've seen earlier, I'll be, I'll be able to stand straight up and have clearance, still have a couple inches of clearance. Um, this truck was available in all different kinds of interior, leather, and cloth. And that's about it for this. We're going to go on to some engine specs here. This is the engines. This is a Caterpillar C15 engine with 475 horsepower, 6 cylinder. It's a 
same engine that they use in like heavy equipment, farm equipment, heavy equipment. Um, it's a diesel engine and 13 to 18 speed transmission. It runs on 10 gallons of oil, which is less oil than his. Um, front axle capacity is 12, 120,000 pounds. No, 12,000 pounds, sorry. The rear axle capacity is 38,000 pounds. It has a flex air suspension and 250 inch wheel base. Right now, the used price is 45,000 to 85,000. And the brand new price back in 2007 was 125,000 for the base price. This is our personal thoughts. I think my truck's better because it has 5.3% more horsepower. It's cheaper to buy, it's cheaper to fix for parts. Um, it's nicer, looks nicer, bigger, sounds better. Um, it was used as a transformer truck, which makes it kind of cool, and it uses 5% less oil. Uh, oh. <laughs> that's not how it was supposed, that's not how it was supposed to be, man. How do I back that up? Press the, the backspace. That's not how it was supposed to be. All right, so now let me tell you why my truck is better. All right, so it's more fuel efficient, so you're going to save money, even though it costs you more. It'll save you more in the end anyway. You can carry more weight on it. Why else would you have a truck? You're trying to carry some kind of cargo. Obviously, you're going to want more weight. Were you going to just have a truck to look good? You're just cruising around in a huge truck just to what, pull up to a party? No, nobody's going to do that. <laughs> you got more safety features too. So if you're owning a fleet, then you have, you know, your, all your drivers are safe on the road. They're comfortable. They're not going to be more likely to cause collisions or get into accidents because they're comfortable in where they are. And a lot of people actually do live on the road in their truck, so this would be a perfect truck for somebody like that. A mutual thought is both trucks are a great asset for the trucking industry. So basically, both trucks have, have helped each other succeed. The first truck, which is my Peterbilt truck, has brought his truck to where it's at now because they use each truck to manufacture each other. They, they use the design back and forth. Um, both trucks are owned by the same company, which is Packard, which is an example of that would be Chevy and GMC. And they're also both leading in, both um, top competitors in the trucking industry. When we got this truck at Walmart, the only trucks there, the only brands were Tonga, Peterbilt, and Kenworth. So even kids are playing with top of the line truck brands. Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, the Peterbilt has more horsepower. And the well, the Kenworth has more axle capacity, so basically they have more power to pull it, but he's got more more stability with the axle capacity to, to handle a heavier load. So it's kind of counteracting it, whichever you prefer, basically, in that aspect. But the Kenworth is also more comfortable for you. You have more stand-up space. You don't have more stress on your back or your shoulder muscles. If you're crouching all the time, it's going to hurt the more you're in that car, so you're more comfortable in your environment when you're on the road. Peterbilt was cheaper brand new and it's cheaper to fix now, so why wouldn't we go with the cheaper truck? You know, it's, it's a nicer truck and it's cheaper. It's easier to fix as well because there's less computers on it, so I feel that my truck is the best. This is our bibliography here, all of our sources. We did. We only did the, the one at APA. The one in APA. I'm not too sure how to do that. Marlon can handle that aspect there. But there's our eight sources there. And if you go to any of these websites and type in Peterbilt 379 or Kenworth 680, then you can find all the information there. This is the end of our project. And which truck would you guys prefer? Which truck would you prefer? The, the Transformer or the, yeah, the, the Kenworth? You know why Peterbilt. it's the tra for Transformer? Just because. Yeah, let's take a vote with everybody in here. Which truck would you prefer? Hands up for the Peterbilt 379. Transformer. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Newer. Newer, buddy. Right. And for the newer one? one. Newer. 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 Newer.
It's okay, Nicole. I'm not recording you. I'm recording Marlon. He just got in the way. Hey, Kino. Is it going in YouTube? Yeah, probably. Parazzi? <laughs> How do you feel about that presentation, Dylan? It's actually pretty good. <laughs> it was good? Helped a lot. Cool, cool. Any questions? Set the bar. How do you feel about it, Kino? It's okay. Any questions? Is that right? Like now. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Any I agree. No, Wayne? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay.